This is, is this your first Instagram live video? This is my first Instagram live. I don't think anyone's watching right now, but uh, we're, we decided to do Instagram live to talk to each other. Oh, Let's see if we're getting shit. some hearts oh, coming. Okay. This is blocking yours. So we're doing like a tandem live feed. Yeah. We have two phones set up here, Lynn's phone and my phone, and we're just like sitting here awkwardly. <laughs> we're trying to read. <laughs> oh yeah, I got all the, okay, OMG. See, there we go. People are blown. Hello, phone. friends. So ask us questions. Like, talk to us. We're about, like, what are we, halfway through the tour? A little more than halfway. A little more than halfway. It's been crazy. They're amazing. It's been so You're cool. You're amazing. Seeing every night. You're amazing. And it's just been so good. So if you guys haven't come out at all, you need to start coming. And there's, there's plenty of dancing to be had. Love you, love you, love meeting you in Dallas. Look at all this action. Wait, Bo was just commenting. Oh, did he? You didn't see that? No, what did he say? He spelled out babe. Oh, <laughs> hey, long time, no talk. Okay, so um, we were just discussing how we had plans to for Lynn to do a tattoo on me. Because you do like stick and poke stuff, right? That was very cute, I like that. And I left <laughs> my skill, stick actually. and pokes in somebody's car, though. Oh, well, what do, you, what do you really need? I just need a needle. A needle and pe a pen, And right? some ink, yeah. yeah. So I was thinking I'm getting a little pair of tits. But, in, but right now, uh, she's going to draw it on me. And I'll wear it on the show tonight. How about right... Yeah, where do you want? Like, where should I do it? Like, right here? Like, that, a nice yeah. and present? Do you want, like, a torso torso? Just nice tits. This is a one-time thing? That's That feels like, huge. Fuck it okay, up. I'm into that. Fuck it up. These are so Curvy? I'm feeling... These oh, are these so are nice! Look at that! Nice little belly button. Wow, okay. And that little thing. Oh, like this is good. This is an artist at work here right now, guys. Just wait till you see the cleavage on this one. <laughs> wait till you see the cleavage <laughs> on that one. Yeah. Oh, shading around the cleavage, collarbones. This is coming together. Oh, and she has no head. Oh, and she's a hanger. She's a hanger. Is that what's happening? Or she's a duck? <laughs> she's a flower. This is beautiful. Damn. Oh shit. Here we go. You guys ready for this? This is art in action. Now I'm getting this tattooed. Oh, you seeing this? Here. Oh, I gotta show both phones. You seeing this? One of a kind Can piece one right of here. Oh, what am I gonna do on you? Should I do boobs? Um, my boobs won't be as nice as yours. No, you'll, they'll be great. Should I do yours as well? You're an artiste. Okay, like right here. Yes. Okay. In the meantime, let's find out what they're saying. Okay. Let's see. I'll read. I'll read while you work. Okay. Oh my God, that's so that's so good. See? Yay, boobies. Okay. Um. God, I have to like do good ones too. Danielle, that was rude. <laughs> Someone said something rude. So I'm telling them that they were rude. What they say, don't, don't read I'm it. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling anybody. Who's the messiest on tour in whose group? My group or who's the messiest in your group? Probably Rocket. Rocket? Yo, this is so good. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> She's like vibing. What? You need to stick and poke me. We will. Let's do it. Do a little swap a room. No. Uh, there we go. Check Lemon this It looks like she's not just because they added all that hair. No, but she's not. So much better. <laughs> this is so good. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> we do have to get these tattoos. Okay, now we're gonna pay attention to what's happening over here. Okay, Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, it's Canadian Thanksgiving today. Is it? Yeah, Canadian. I don't even. How know does that American. Work? It's different. Okay. When's American? Um, in November. I don't know when that is. When's November? <laughs> Um, after <laughs> October, which uh, is this month now. Technically. Okay, good to know. Next month. Do you feel like you just can't do time anymore? No, I can't. Like, I, I, I don't know, know what day, day of the week which. it is. No, I, I literally don't. Actually, what day is it? No, it's... Monday? Is it Monday? No. What's today? What is today is Monday? Today? Is it Monday? I think it's Sunday. Is it Sunday? Oh, wait. Oh, it is Sunday. Is, is it, it really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I actually don't. I, I'm guessing. But, um... Uh, we walked around a little bit today, and did you it, go I was to the like, market. Did did you go? Yeah. There's a little right there. I there's was. a little art market, and um, one of the most amazing things that I saw 
I heard like this cacophonous like ambient noise. Yes. And there was a guy, the recording guy. Yes. yes. Okay, so there was a guy, like. He must have been plugged into some reverb unit because it was like reverbed out, like was droney accordion noise, and he was all tied up with string, and like mm -hmm. he had a big spool of string, and he was like wrapping himself up. And, like, did Did you into pass, it. Uh, This might. Arch. I feel like this was the same group. There was somebody in a top hat. Were they in was, on stilts? There were the. I saw those. Saw the we all saw them there at the same time. What? Mr. Tony. Darn it. This is the reason there's that section in the newspaper for like misconnections and misconnections. Yeah, even though we didn't see each other. <laughs> it's like, it's like it's misconnections the now. It's connections that could have been. Yeah. So funny. Um. Well, yeah. And I was walking around today, realizing that like it's the middle of October and it's so hot, and we're in Philadelphia. Yeah. When it's there not are these. Cool. Global warming. Yeah, okay. But it's not real. No, I mean, who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe all the oceans will fill up and then we'll all be underwater. I watched this show called, um, oh god, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like about, this is just me and Lynn having a conversation like we would normally have, so I'm sorry that we're subjecting you to this, but, um, where it's like all these pot potential disasters. Oh, and I hate those! Well, cause... it's like the apocalypse and what could have been and like what would happen. And it like looks at all the like, and it's so scary. It's so good. No, <laughs> that's like that's like my biggest fear. I always have weird dreams about like mushroom clouds and tidal waves really? and like mass destruction. That's like my biggest. Whether that's like through a plague or zombie yeah. apocalypse or totally anything apocalyptic. I know is like my biggest fear. Okay, but like, if the apocalypse were to happen, what do you think it would be? Would it be like? economic collapse? Would it be the, the icebergs melt, the polar ice caps melting because of global warming, flooding everything? Would it be like... I f well, like, right now, anything. <laughs> I know, seriously, like, it feels closer than ever. I feel like any, it could be anything right now. Um, I think the most likely is, like, well, actually, the most scientifically ah! effective would be an EMP. It's like this electromagnetic pulse that the sun emits, mm -hmm. and it would shut down all electricity, and then we wouldn't be able to have, like, Instagram live streams. Which we'd have to go back. People managed without it. Did we though? So, we did. No, people. Has your phone ever like not worked and you realize that you're like lost? Yes, but like people, people managed to to not have electricity for hundreds and hundreds, thousands of years. I would like to try. It'd be yeah. fun. We would get it back and running. Would we? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I I would like to think that we would be able to to make it work because I also think in the apocalypse. The, the careers that wouldn't matter, like like lawyers, bankers, there's a whole line of of professions that don't matter in the apocalypse. Would we matter? Well, I spent a lot of time thinking about, like, technically you wouldn't need us. You'd need the people that are, like, the doctors and the tradespeople. Mm -hmm. But people need music. It they gets do. them through all the hard times. And I think people would need music more than ever. And that's why people are coming to all these shows, man. Because the world is The world is fucked. Ah! But it's, a, it's good, so it keeps us in business. So thank you. <laughs> okay, you want to do a Q&A? Okay, here we rapid go. Rapid fire? Yeah, rapid fire. Let's do it. Can you give play us, ice Give us some shit. Can I play ice tonight? Probably not. I haven't played that one in years. No? Someday, someday. What do you got? Huh. You play Hard Times. Mm, that'd be a good cover. Wrong band. Good song, wrong band. <laughs> Favorite food? Donuts. I can't see this because this is like... Oh, shit, shit. But you know what? It's a secret. Okay, I'll read yours. Remember direct message? Say hi to Party Nails. Party Nails last night was last night. Yeah. I'm just very sad. Did you they say were so goodbye? Wonderful. I did. Okay. I saw them all last night at the bar. And there was yeah. a giant. Yo, everybody was hanging out. Where last were night. you? I don't know. We were we were eating. We were eating like our food <laughs> off stage and then like went to bed. And I don't know when this this went down. Because we were with Party Nails, like yeah. before they left. And then Maddie came on and was like, yo, we were all just like hanging out. Minus Your bus like, call was earlier. Minus like the, the however many of us on Yeah. Bus. It was like everybody minus us. Well, like, I missed you there. We were all at the bar having margaritas and playing ping pong. What's the your good margarita night. thing going Dude, on? Dude, National Mark Tour, it started a few months ago <laughs> and I go all over the world. I mean, all over the states. The best margarita though, mm -hmm. Dayton. Dayton, Ohio? Dayton, Ohio at okay. a pizza place. What kind of, are you like a classic margarita or classic are you? Classic on the rocks with a bit of salt. Okay. Oh, okay, you have to get it with the salt. Yeah. Do you ever get like jalapeno or mezcal? That's great. You're crazy. That no, sounds good. It's so that's good. I'm into that. I, I was gonna, I was gonna make a margarita last night. Had no tequila, but I had mezcal, and I was like, 
Dude, you, you got a little mezcal. scared. I was a little nervous. No, 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 mezcal. Okay, okay. Is it you you had mezcal on the, on the yeah. bus? Yeah. Yo, should yeah, I do it? Well, yeah. I'll make you a mark too then. Yeah, please. Mezcal mark. Also, if you do, um, there's a thing you can do called smoke and coke. What's that? And it sounds delicious. It's coke and mezcal. Wow. And it oh, either like you'll either love it or it tastes like a band aid. It's one or the other. Interesting. Yeah. I, I I do like mezcal. I've drank it a few times. Is that even grammatically correct? I don't know. But drank I, it. Yeah. I've drunk it. Drank it. Drunk it. I've, I've drunk it. I don't know. I drank it. I drank it, and it was good. Alright, you should have played muscle memory. I do! I play it, I alternate it. I alternate it. I notice you got flux and flow now. Every now and then I switch yeah. it. Like I alternate too. I heard, I heard it's it fun, in the soundtrack it's a today. Fun and I was like, Ooh. Oh, damn girl. <laughs> yeah, we play it every now and then. Their show's gr crazy, you guys. No. It's crazy. Uh, Wait until your shows come. Can you make me a margarita? Can you make me a margarita? I'll make, I'll make Lynn a margarita because she's What here. if we get margarita tattoos? That would be nice. What margaritas. about a naked girl with thing a margarita? <laughs> what if the cup, the glass to the margarita is this torso, and then the neck is oh, the... Oh! I like this. Yeah. Mixing art. Mixing, <laughs> mixing art with Mars. <laughs> I do like that, though. Margar uh, margarita torso, the tits will be donuts? Donut tits, margarita torso. Donut tits. And then, like... Yo, that, that was a, okay. Donuts would be a good tit tattoo. I think so. A tattoo. I'm t I'm trying to decide how that would look. With What's your least favorite tattoo? That you least favorite? Um, probably the first one I got. And it was like these two sparrows right here, and I, it was like at some basement. I was like underage. The dude didn't know how to tattoo. They're like crooked, <laughs> but it was exciting because it was my first tattoo. What's yeah. What's your least favorite? No. It's hard to not this like one, this. This I this was a stick and poke I started to try and do on myself. On your on yourself? Like oh. <laughs> no, it just looks like a pen. Because it just hurt. Yeah. Interesting. So you yeah. can't do it on yourself. No. Well, I, this is like a rough spot, so I feel like yeah. I feel like if I try it on the knees, yeah. or something, I could do, do you have it. anything on your knees? No. It's time. It's time. Yeah. It's time. It's time for a knee. I want to get my friends. I have a nickname, seaweed. So I want to put seaweed Cute. on each knee. Sea and then weed? weed yeah. Cute. Yeah. And then put little waves. Yeah. And a little weed. And a little weed, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Okay, what else you got? Wait, what else you guys got? Natural show, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, have, we have two different phones here, so we're like alternating. Alternating questions. Any plans to get new tats? Well, the next one's going to be from her. I have to get supplies. Well, I'll get them. Be Where do you get them? Um... I could actually order them. You could you could get like needles like the on kids, it. Yeah. Um, is is like regular ink bad to use? Just like pen ink, it might react to it. Um, just out of like like safety precautions, yeah. I wouldn't like yeah. like I even I don't know even though stick and poke is supposed to be like really ragtag. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, be, back 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 alley bullshit. Like yeah, I don't want I don't want to like. Yeah, it, it does. It does. I've seen it go so bad and like gets infected and crazy. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to do that. Well, I appreciate you um, working Looking like a pro you, over for here. You. Yeah. For you, how? Yeah, it's for you. Johnny loves jazz. Yo, What's my favorite song off Skin and Earth? Um, Fight Club. I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> when it, I was like, I, I finally, I like got to give the record a full listen like a couple weeks ago when I was going to Brooklyn. And I was like driving, driving to my apartment in a, in a lift, and that one came on, and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Oh. I was like, "That's the fucking jam." I've never written a song like that, and it was really cool with you. No, my so favorite good. one from your and records is no, "What's Wrong." What's wrong? Okay. okay. They're very like this. They're similar, similar vibes. It's yeah, yeah. I can see that. Kind of. It, it's it's, it's like so the, up my lane. It's the best. Oh, and there might be a remix coming. Oh, yeah, dude. I have yeah. to finish. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. It'll and come out. Too. It'll come out. We, uh, we took a stab at remixing each other's songs, so maybe someday you'll hear them. Basically, without giving too much away, we turned each other's songs into each other's songs. Yeah, but we took <laughs> We literally took, I took one of her songs and made it sound like upbeat pops, like electro pop banger, and, and you took one of my songs and, and made it like super this emo brooding, <laughs> amazing rock. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Fuck, I have to finish that. It's like, I just have to clean up like some of the... It's the best. The it's unreal. It's so good when it kicks in, but I can't give more away because it's so good. Okay, now I have to go finish it. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. But you just, you, you hear it here first. 
then you might not hear it again. Because you never know. I love your song, Morgan. Thank you. Kiss each other. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like that? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we're being signaled that we need to leave. We're going to go make out now. That's what's happening. It is. But <laughs> seriously, um, we just wanted to get on because A, we've never done this. Yeah, we should do this more. B, we should. This is fun. Uh, C, the tour is amazing. Um, all the acts you put together for this are incredible. Obviously, this girl is like no. amazing. No, for real. I, I think, so my junior year of high school or my senior year, I saw you for the first time live at the Middle East in Boston. Whoa, with my crazy. friend. Upstairs oh, or downstairs? downstairs? Um, what's the. Downstairs. Oh, crazy. Yeah. And I, I hadn't listened to you at that point. My, I was just going with a friend. And I was yeah. like, who is this? Man. And I was like obsessed afterwards. And then I went, I think a year or two later, you played you played the same room. And yeah. um, I went to that and I was like, holy shit, it's so good. Dude. Yeah. So I, it's, it's like crazy to have, have, you, have you with us. Like, it makes me so happy. I remember like a few years ago, Bo showing me you guys' stuff. It was like before you put anything out. Yeah. And he's like, you gotta check out this new band because Maddie sent it over to him. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. Like, Aww. and I had only heard like a couple songs, like your first single from the last record, and then a couple other ones. And so we started like playing in the car all the time. And uh, it just keeps getting better. The record sounds even better than the first. And um, obviously, Blake is amazing. Yeah. You yeah, like shit. You guys are killing it. So. Um, yeah, the best. It's really cool to be listening to them every night and learning from you guys. And, yeah, it's a good times. <laughs> We're like fangirling on camera. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had little machines in my car because I used to have a Ford Taurus and it only took CDs. And that was oh. like I had like five CDs. It was Florence, Little Machines. I hear Florence so Florence. much. Yeah. Influence in your stuff. Yeah. For sure. It's definitely. She's so Pretty badass, nice. man. And you've gone to like a bunch of her shows, right? I've flown out to see her a few times. Man. Yeah. What was the best one? Mm, probably every time has been great. Yeah. Um, but I think the first time, just because I was like, what? Yeah. She like did her the whole first half of her set just completely like stripped down and, what? and like, Crazy. acoustic. And it was at Red Rock. Yeah, so I like, I because I remember hearing you guys like you and Blake went, right? Yeah. yeah. And then he was like texting me after the like, this like this crazy experience, yeah. LA experience. I was like, oh, I wish I could have yeah. gone. It was crazy. It was actually funny. Um, the other day, somebody texted me that they like bumped into her PA or something like oh, that, yeah. and that they like they bumped into her. And then Blake texted me last night and said she was on the balcony at a show he was at. What? And then Nate texted me and said she was at a bar that he was at. What? So it's all like coming. Oh my god! Have you met her? It? No. Man. I don't know what I would do. She's I like, like an old soul. Out. Like she's my age, but I like I feel like she was in Fleetwood Mac or something. Yeah. Like she's she I should have been like, around forever. Yeah, I feel like she was in like the Victorian era. Totally. Or like, or like old Waterhouse people. Yeah. Uh, she's like yeah, cross classical, any era. Like she's the best. nymph stuff. Praise, praise the flow. <laughs> Love <laughs> the flow. Would, do you think that that fans of her are called? Flow riders. They should be. <laughs> or as of just her. Oh my god. I yeah. Mean, flow rider. Flow rider dies. Yeah. I like. I like that. You just named a fan base. Flow riders. Flow riders. What you have? Is it Lights Army for you, right? Yeah. That's just kind of what it became. L.A. L.A. Uh, it's. What would there you? We go. If you could rename it, what would you rename? You know, bulbs was uh, being tossed around for, for a time, <laughs> and uh, just something that was, that one didn't stick. <laughs> what What are your fans called? Oh, cult, cult, the cult, right? The cult, yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice yeah, one. Yeah. I see that. I need something. That cla you know, what? Lights Army class. It's like Brown and Navy. It's like we are mobilized, spreading the good word. That's what we do, and we appreciate every minute of your. Time. We love y'all, but we are noticing you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. And, okay, let me see if there's any other thing. Sorry, we're getting distracted. I know, we're always distracted, and we have these things to follow. Yours is so much brighter. I don't, I don't get it. Wait, you don't know how to turn your brightness up? I mean, oh, maybe it is my brightness. I could, oh, I don't know what I did. Uh -oh. oh, we can comment. Whatever. Oh, yeah. This is our first time doing this ever, so thanks for joining us. Thanks for all the hearts. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, and you guys are going to Europe after this. You're going to be going so straight and hard. It's going to be amazing. I'm gonna die.
good. <laughs> what are you doing after this? Um, just like one-off shows, a bunch of stuff. Um, doing a couple new music videos because I'm doing a video for every uh, issue of the comic. Those are coming. More stuff. Which is yeah, like, like dude, shows. fucking yeah. insane, by the way. Did you read any of it yet? I have to give you a bundle. I'll give you the first three. It's in three. my apartment. I'm gonna give it to you. I want to see, see, see all of it. Yeah, once but it's all together, it'll be a little easier. To the take. butterfly thing like tripped me out though. I know. I told you about that, right? Well, cause. So, we'll put some backstory on this. The first time we really hung out was at the APMAs. We got, like, stuck in the rain together while we were on a wine run. We were trying to get wine. Yeah, which was a great idea. Mm -hmm. and that was your idea. That was my well, thing. No, we were, it was a unison idea. You are like, oh, we want wine too. Let's go to CVS. CVS. Shout wine. out to CVS. So, we ended up, like, walking, and it was, like, insane deluge. We couldn't go anywhere, so we were hiding in this, like, little hole in the wall. Where there was spiders. Lots of them. Really bad spiders. Huge ones. And so we ended up like BFFing for like half an hour and then getting wine and then we all like told ghost stories till 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. And it was that the was best. Like a good night. She has some amazing ones. And that one that you showed me that was amazing. Oh I showed God. so many people. It screwed me up. So I, it's not my story to share. Yeah. But I'll share a ghost yeah, story. Yeah, it's so this crazy. This isn't really a ghost story because you can't see the picture. The picture is what makes it. Yeah, the picture will give you chills. Um, our UK publicist sent me a picture Couple, this was like right. This is right around the. It was like the day, day before, two yeah. days before or something. Um, and she said that a couple of her friends were at a bachelorette party in Scotland, and they were at a house kind of in the middle of nowhere, and um, they were all around taking selfies and taking pictures, and nobody had noticed this at the time, but they noticed this afterwards. In like one of the pictures, there's a little boy over by a tree stump, just like. Literally up, poking his head through, and he looks like a little like a chimney sweep boy yeah. from like the Victorian era, or like even he also he also looks like almost medieval. Like, yeah, it like, could go both ways, like the ghost of child past. Yeah, and like but he's just chilling. It like, was it was so out of context too because in the photo it's like all of these like young women like partying. They all yeah. have like Harry was it Harry Ron heads Ron from heads, yeah. Harry Potter. And obviously, like, there's no kid there. Like, it's obviously a bachel bachelorette party. And even if there was a kid there, they'd be like, yo, Tommy, get out of the picture, because he's obviously in it. Yeah. So they, like, they went looking, uh, they filed a report or whatever, like, is there a missing kid? And there was no reports yeah, of missing kids. Yeah, the police thought they were joking. But in the photo, it's so crazy. Like, literally everyone I've showed that photo to ends up on the ground, on their knees. We were on our, we were on the ground. We were on the ground. It definitely makes you feel weird. It was so crazy. But yeah, you have, like, limitless ghost stories. We all have a few, but... You have a good one. We have a few good ones. Your na the neighbor one's really good. The what? Like the three people walking towards the window. Oh god, there's been so many. Wait, oh, no, I didn't also, tell one. I didn't tell you that. No. One. There's so many. This this needs to continue over these margaritas that we're gonna be making. Okay. Um, but yeah, that was our first time hanging out. Um, but then we talked about the butterfly thing because butterflies oh, are yeah. a recurring this is theme. Where we're going. <laughs> the tangent. Um, butterfly is a, a recurring symbol throughout the comic, and for it's you, it was been a recurring. popping up for me a lot. So what, what was the context of it again? Like, it just kind of keeps coming in at weird pivotal times, right? Yeah, at, um, and that's, like, actually a thing, I guess, is, like, if, if there's, like, a transformative period. Like, I've just been kind of dealing with a lot of weird, like, internal stuff yeah. that translates into what we're doing. Um, and, like, but every, t every so every time there's, like, something uncertain or, like, I'm like, shit, I don't know if I can do this, one will always pop up. Or, like, if, if I, like, accomplish something or, like, get through it, it'll, like, pop up afterwards. And I remember, like, going to the APMAs, like, something, there's some, I forget what it was, but I was like, I don't know if I can do it. Like, I don't, yeah. I, don't I don't know. Yeah. And, um, I became really good, like, we, we hung out on that. Yeah. And that was, like, a very, like, good connection. Yeah. And then I became friends with Mina Caputo as yeah. well, and um, that was another butterfly thing, like Crazy. she had something completely yeah. separate. I swear they're butterfly. like spirit guides or something, yeah. because, and that, yeah, because they'll, and, and I mean, I also feel the same way about dragonflies, I don't know if you have the same experience, but like, no, but I have heard about this. It's, it's super weird, I remember like, we were doing a show in Regina a couple months ago, and I was doing some acoustic thing the next day, and I'm sitting there. And I was kind of nervous about it because I wasn't sure what this the situation was going to be. Like, it was like an acoustic workshop, and Jose, Gonz Jose Gonzalez was there, which I'm, I'm a big fan of. So it was like just this amazing moment, and I like, sat there. It was like my turn to play the song. And I was like, okay, um, here's my song. And then start singing it. I did muscle memory, and then like this massive dragonfly lands on my mic, and I'm playing guitar and singing, so I can't like swat it away. Yeah. And it just parked there. 
right on my mic, like literally this close from my face, and it's like at looking like at me this. with all those millions of eyes, you know, and just like this big giant eye. And then I was like scared at first, but then it was like I'm not, I'm not scared of you. Yeah. And he just hung out for a bit, and then took off, and it was like it's kind of cool. That's cool. crazy. Insects. They're always like, hey, I'm here. Yeah. I'm Chill. watching you. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Peace. No, I definitely think that's there's like, that's like external energy coming. I think so. Being like you're good. You're taken care of. I honestly think that, I think that, I don't know, I believe that we all have more impact in, like, the world and on earth and animals than we think. The oh, way yeah. we treat people, the way we inten we put our intentions out in the world does more than you think, so. Absolutely. Think positive, you know, and Manifestation. More. Yep. Yep. Put Words of wisdom and meditation. Lights mm -hmm. and lift. Everybody? <laughs> No. My beautiful lady. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. We'll do this again. Maybe when, actually, if we do. We should do, do it with tattoos. margaritas. Yes. Tattoos and yes, margaritas. Yes, tattoos and margaritas. We'll live stream that when it yeah, happens. Um, it's happening. Deal.